Hey guys, what's up? DR here and I'm back with uh, some new videos for today and if you see on my on my right side we have a few boxes here but these are not all the boxes that we have to unbox um, these are just some because we the other boxes are left in my house but anyway we're going to unbox some of them today and the first one that I'm very excited about is the Oppo Reno 10 times? I don't know uh, how you call it 10 times or 10x, uh, but it's indeed the new Oppo Reno. So, uh, the, the Oppo Reno uh, has been in uh, in the news for the for quite some time now for the past few months. It, uh, I, I thought it initially it was a code name, but it is actually the, the new high end. Uh, high-end brand or high-end product so um, I think this would replace effectively replace the Oppo R series and I'm not sure if this would also replace the Oppo Find series but uh, the Oppo Reno has uh, well, the, uh, my first impressions about it it looks like it has more elegance and uh, so more, uh, more sophistication than the, any previous uh, high-end uh, Oppo phones. So the packaging itself, as you can see, it looks very, very high-end. And um, uh, this is the most high-end box I've ever seen, uh, if, uh, if compared to um, compared to the high-end phones from uh, the other leading brands. And uh, all right, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So. So uh, the, the packaging is unusually tall, and inside this are uh, pamphlets. Even the material looks uh, feels premium. So these are uh, uh, pamphlets, all right. And this is the Oppo Reno phone, and looks very nice. But we're going to remove that, and uh, comes with a uh, with a nice looking case. It's rubbery, uh, but it has a uh, nice texture to it. A bit rough uh, for uh, for for effective grip. And uh, you have the uh, uh, I suppose there's a boot charger. It has a uh, Type C cable. So now they're they're now using a Type C. Well, actually, they've been using Type C for quite some time now. But yeah. Uh, they're still uh, they're, uh, they're still using Type C for for their high end, and these are nice looking uh, a pair a pair of earphones. You know, uh, these are yeah these are th these look high end as well. So um, th these are uh, what you can see inside uh, the packaging of the Oppo So let's go ahead. And uh, check out the Reno, and this is it, my friends. This is it. And uh, all right, uh, first impressions about a phone. Ah, uh, it's it looks breathtaking. If it seems that the cameras are inside the back cover, the cameras are not being obtrusive, you know. So it's uh, very unique, and this would also prevent any scratches uh, on the lens of the camera. However, uh, whatever you do, you need to protect the lens of the camera in order for you to uh, have uh, good shots. But anyway, um, it looks very classy, it looks very sophisticated, and uh, it looks very high end. Uh, this one looks even more high-end than the Oppo uh, Find X. Now, all right, so I removed the, the sticker in the back and uh, let's power this baby up. This is the Oppo Reno uh, 10 times looks like. And the, the, the screen still reminds me of the, the Find X so far. It, uh, it's 
it, but it has a 6.6-inch uh, uh, OLED screen, and uh, so it, which means that the screen is, uh, you know, you can be assured that the screen is bright and vibrant, and. Um, the interface, of course, well, this one is ready on Android Pie, but uh, already has, uh, of course, the Color OS, uh, Color OS 6 already uh, pre installed. So we've uh, checked out Color OS 6 uh, in, in the other phone, uh, that's the Realme C2, but this one. It's uh, it doesn't have an app drawer like uh, like the like that color OS. Uh, all the apps are found here at uh, the home screen. So that's the well, that's Oppo style. So uh, the, the, this variant, the Oppo Reno 10 times, is the high uh, is the uh, the best phone uh, in the Oppo uh, in the Reno series. It has. Uh, the Snapdragon 855 processor, which I really want to have in a, in a phone. It has uh, 20, 256 internal gigs, uh, 8 gigs of internal storage, and of course, like what we said, 6.6 6 inch OLED screen display. And so uh, you'll be able to, uh, there are no notches, so you, you'll be able to view. Uh, videos and, uh, and pictures and websites without any annoying uh, blacks on the uh, side of the phone and uh, well, it has a uh, 4065 mini amperes of, uh, of battery with book charging so the, uh, it says that here it says here it has book charge 3.0 so uh, it can uh, quickly charge your phone in a few minutes, I mean, it can give you uh, juice enough uh, enough for you to make several phone calls in just a few minutes. So, uh, back to the design, it looks very sophisticated. And uh, the, the 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 special thing about the, the Reno the ten times zoom is the ten times zoom. Okay, but uh, when actually uh, the camera has uh, has a way to zoom in up to 60 times all right now we've seen the Huawei P30 Pro uh, do a uh, zoom in for like 50 times but this one can do better for by 60 times and if uh, we took uh, we took a few uh, sample photos that you will, you will be able to see in your screens right now how I took uh, photos uh, from wide angle to one uh, to one time zoom, two time zoom, five time, uh, six time zoom, ten time zoom, and then uh, in, in increments of ten time zoom up to sixty times. It's incredible. It's remarkable, and uh, the, the the quality and uh, the imaging still looks intact. Okay, it's not uh, it's not blurred. It's not, but of course you need to hold the camera very steadily as much as possible. You need to have a tripod with you. But if you don't, um, and, and as long as you hold the phone steadily, you'll be able to uh, still take a sharp, pi uh, quite sharp pictures. Even the zoom lens is focused up to 60 times. And it's really incredible, uh, I tell you. And um, although, to be honest, I couldn't tell the difference between 50 times and 60 times, but you know, uh, 60 times is a lot better, whatever you say. Now, uh, camera takes good pictures, and we held a photo walk uh, a few days ago in, in BGC. And we took some uh, some artistic art pictures, and uh, that's the point. Uh, that, that's the point of the uh, of having an Oppo Reno. It's it's not about taking pictures of another window from another building, just to see what's going on inside. No, that's not what Oppo Reno is all about. The Oppo Reno can be used for appreciating art, and that's what we did the other day. So when we had this uh, this art tour in BGC. We never thought, and I, 
including myself, you know, I've, having been to BGC for the past few years and seeing the artwork, I never thought that the, the artworks have, you know, have hidden details inside. If you don't look close at it, uh, if you don't look closer, you won't be able to see what's, uh, what's in those pictures. So uh, we were asked to use our Reno, uh, Oppo Reno 10 times zoom and to zoom into those pictures and we were surprised with the detail and uh, just like what you see in, uh, in, 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 in the video right now these are sample photos uh, that I took with the Reno 10 times zoom so um, when, I, when, I, when we were asked to zoom in uh, you can see the details that appears to be uh, appears to be a family being together in a house. There's another one uh, which has like a couple of uh, lovers, I guess. So um, you'll be able to use the Oppo Reno to capture images, nice images, and can, uh, like artworks, even from far away. So. Uh, yeah, so so far that's well, what uh, like that's my first impressions with the Oppo Reno uh, ten times. Uh, well, performance-wise, I haven't really checked yet, uh, but uh, I did check on uh, on Tutu, and man, you're gonna be blown away by this because I've never ever uh, tested. Uh, a Snapdragon 855 uh, phone before with a Tutu and I got the score 355,006 uh, 355,164 this is so unbelievable because the last time I checked the last time I tested a Snapdragon uh, uh, 845 well, that's with the Mi 8 Pro uh, I got I got a score of like uh, two hundred ninety thousand or three hundred thousand, but this is far, very far from the three hundred uh, from the three hundred uh, thousand score garnered by a Snapdragon eight forty five processor. So what I um, I, I'm, I'm hoping that the uh, Reno ten times would be uh, would be very adequate for uh, for gaming. Uh, that would be nice because uh, you need to. You're going to take advantage of the RAM and uh, and, a pro and a very fast processor for uh, for uh, for mobile gaming. And I hope it wouldn't get too hot. And but I heard on the, uh, the the other day that they have some cooling system inside. But we're going to uh, we're going to check on that. But uh, as far as I can tell, you know the Oppo Reno 10 times is one of my main candidates to become my next phone. The Oppo Find X was supposed to become my main phone last year, but uh, it kind of fell short. The 10, uh, this, uh, this, this Oppo Reno phone, this Oppo Reno 10 times zoom, it's a, it's, a, it's a main contender right now. And I'm going to test this as my main phone for the next couple of weeks. So we're gonna have like a, a couple more videos about the Reno 10 times zoom about my experiences. So don't forget to uh, to subscribe and like this uh, channel. Of course, don't forget to like this video if you have to share it. Go ahead and share my first impressions. But if you have any questions about the Oppo Reno 10 times, let us know and uh, we'll try to answer it as much as we can. So that's it and uh, we'll see you in our next unboxing.